Alan Wasahlan mtazamaji wa Audi TV na karibu tena katika kipindi chako cha Arochos Corner kipindi cha udadisi ni michuano ya kombe la Afcon awamu yake ya 33 kule Cameroon na siko peke yangu niko na gwiji wa Afcon hapa Kenya Tobias Sochola mshiriki wa kombe hilo la Afcon mara tatu mwaka wa 88 kule Morocco mwaka wa 90 kule Algeria na hatimaye mwaka wa 92 kule Senegal. Tobias Sochola, karibu tena katika kipindi chako cha Arochos Corner. Thank you Arocho. Eh, nataka tuanze udadisi. Uh, want us to analyze this match as coach. The first match, the opening match, Cameroon against Burkina Faso. What is uh, your take? My take is uh, it's not going to be easy. One, it is the opening game. Your teams have not seen each other play but uh, the home team uh, they have the advantage mm -hmm. because of being home okay that is one then um, according to the rules uh, normally a home team they get some favors okay so that one that one might propel cameroon to to winning okay uh, but uh, again they have more quality uh, more than the opponent okay that one is so you there. think Cameroon most likely is going to win because of the quality uh, if you compare the Bukina, uh, Cameroon and Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso okay. and also home ground advantage. Okay. But still on the negative side when you are playing home you are under pressure. Okay. So they have to contain that pressure for them to succeed because if they start poorly one the team might not go far two the home country will lose on revenue. Okay. Because so people will go down the morale will go down but even the people coming to the stadium if they don't do well will because cameroon has spent millions and millions in preparation building stadium for this tournament so they need to move to the final or the last four stages so that they uh, recoup the finances they've used in preparation of afco tobias ana mpa cameroon ushindi katika mechi ya ufunguzi the second match on Monday Senegal against Zimbabwe Senegal is one of the favorites according to your analysis yes because of the the period that the team has been together the kind of teams they are playing in Europe they they have been consistent they are they lost in the final in uh, in Egypt in 2019 so i think now this time around they are now coming for the finals and if you look at the way they left Senegal to Cameroon it was a team that was ready for something okay. and that the kind of players they have they don't need not to pick the, the trophy morocco, should be up there. morocco playing against ghana um ghana is one of the teams that had issues in their qualifiers do you think they can do something against morocco in the opening match uh, they can and you see the two if you look at them critically the strength is more or less the same so it will now depend on the desire of each and every side to do what they think is best from their their side because morocco have decided that this is their year if you look at the preparation and the way they arrived in uh, in uh, cameroon it it speaks volumes because these guys they've booked a whole hotel they've they've come with their chefs their food their security and every other thing for the whole period. So that means they are serious. And they have really invested. They have really invested. Tuesday, Algeria taking on Sierra Leone. Ah, one of the teams uh, that uh, uh, is a very small country in, in in Africa that is Sierra Leone taking on Algeria. What is your take? Which are the defending champions? Yes. So that is a plus for them because uh, Sierra Leone will not come fully coming to pick points from um, Algeria, but they might frustrate Algerian. So it depends on how they prepared against what kind of team Algeria will bring in. Because Algeria more or less they have retained the same team and their top players are doing so well. The person who scored uh, Feguli, he scored I think a goal in the final, is the top scorer in uh, Qatar or the Oman, then uh, Riyad Mahrez. So you see, those names can bring chills okay. to the opponent. So the, the, it's so, so you, you who, who do you go with? Uh, I'll go with Algeria. Go with Algeria. Yes. Another big match. Uh, this is on Tuesday. Uh, Nigeria, former champions, 
against another former champions, Egypt? Um, there, there's not so much. Uh, Nigeria, they have big names, but they are, they are not uh, well prepared psychologically, team-wise, I don't think, because they, they, they are even coming in with a new local appointed coach, and they have issues. They were expecting Igalo to come. They have been refused. Dennis of Watford not coming. Uh, so such issues, so do, they such do issues affect a team? Properly. Because you are in, in, team, in teamwork, they are, they are also uh, sympathizers. Now, Fred is sick. Who will I coordinate with? He was our top scorer the other time when we are in AFCON. Now he's not here. Who is going to score for us? So there, there are some small things that can destabilize a team and it can make you not perform. But the technical issue in uh, Nigeria camp will, 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 be, key. will so, be key. So who are you going with? Nigeria uh, or Egypt? Uh, for now, it is... Uh, I'll, 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 I'll go with Egypt. You'll go with Egypt. I'll go with Egypt. Wednesday, Tunisia playing against Mali. Another big team, Tunisia. Uh, yes, but now it is what we were talking about earlier, consistency. Which team is consistent? Mali, for me, I know Mali well at the lower ages of play. Under 17, under 18, under 20. They are very good. But top, Ukuju... They have not done so well. But this is a team that did not consider glory. Remember that Mali was with Kenya uh, in a group uh, during the qualifiers. They never considered a goal in their qualifiers. Arocho, let me make you laugh. <laughs> Which were the opponents of Mali? Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda. Those were sparring partners. Yeah. God forbid. Those were, those were sparring partners for Mali. That is why... If you could see all the names uh, you expect to, to, to have seen when Mali was playing Kenya, blah, blah, they were never there. Because they looked at the opposition and they were just bringing in people whom they were grooming to take other positions in the future when the senior players are retiring. Mali did not bring the real Mali. So you, 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 in, in a nutshell, you're saying that Mali did not get a real match in the qualifiers. They didn't get a real match in the qualifiers. Okay. Equatorial Guinea against Ivory Coast. That one um, is tricky because those guys are neighbors, so they know each other. And uh, it will now depend on the, the technical ability of the two benches. Okay. Yes. So and I give, uh, I where give, will you place your money? Uh, Ivory Coast. You'll go with Ivory Coast. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Tobias Ochola, for that analysis. Now, Tazamaji, Kumbuka Kwambani Afcon, Zina Endelea, Nabasi. Ndani ya Odibets unaomoka na Afcon. Kwa shilingi 49 peke yake katika single bet ama multi bet unaweza kujishindia shilingi 500 kila siku kwa watu 200. Na hatimaye the mega prize ya shilingi milioni moja. wewe zidi kuwekeza shilingi 49 katika eh, kuwekeza kwako weka mechi moja tu ama zaidi ya Afcon na unaingia katika draw ambao unaweza kujishindia shilingi 500 kila siku watu 200 na hatimaye shilingi milioni moja kwa the grand prize wa yule ambaye ataweza kujishindia shukrani za dadi kwa kuitizama kipindi chako cha Arochos Kona hadi wiki ijayo kwa niaba ya guji wetu Tobias Ochola kuwa na wiki isiyokuwa na bugda Says <laughs>